What causes skin cancers? Skin cancers, one of the most important factor is genetics. So typically, um, the genetic predisposition is a big factor uh, that has to be taken into consideration. So sunscreen is the thing that we can control in us and in our children. So sun, using sunscreen SPF 30 or above, applying it 15 to 30 minutes before sun exposure and reapplying it every two to three hours or every time you get out of the water um, is one of the things that we can do. The, keeping in mind that childhood sunburns are the ones that usually cause skin cancers later on in life. So skin cancers typically come out 20, 30 years later after the blistering sunburns. So it's very important to start educating children early on on sun protection. So 30 or above, uh, a combination of a physical and a chemical uh, sunblock are the way to go. So the combination of genetics, a genetic predisposition, as well as um, prolonged sun exposure, uh, sunburns over long periods of time uh, are what cause skin cancer. In order to prevent a uh, deadly form of skin cancer, which is melanoma, if it's not caught early, melanoma uh, metastasizes and is deadly. So it's very important to do annual skin cancer screenings, which are recommended for everybody. Once a year, you should see your dermatologist and get all your moles, freckles, uh, and the entire skin. It's the largest organ of our body. It needs to be checked once a year. Uh, with catching a melanoma early can be life-saving, so that's the main purpose of these. There's two more types of skin cancer, basal cell and squamous cell. In addition to melanoma, those are typically uh, not deadly but can be quite disfiguring if they're left alone. So make sure that you see a dermatologist once a year for your skin cancer screening. I'm Dr. Tamara lazic Strugar, a dermatologist at Mount Sinai Doctors. I see patients throughout the week in Manhattan. Give us a call, you can make an appointment anytime.